What is going on everybody, my name is ClamHD and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video guys, we're on Cold War, we're on the map D-Machina. What I got for you this time is a new truck glitch you guys can do over at the pond. Now what I recommend you guys doing first is keeping one zomba at the end of a round. So it's very easy to get into this spot when you've got one zomba. Go up against the truck, move back a few steps and then just jump forward while holding the forward button. And once you start mantling, you want to hold the back button just for a little bit until you mantle. Now, if the zombie throws meat at you, what you want to do is you want to drop down again and retry the same process. Now, if done correctly, what will happen is the zombie should pour below you and he shouldn't be throwing meat at you. And that's when you know you're in the right position. Now, the good thing about this is you can crouch and shoot all the zombies as well, as well as knife them. Just keep this barrier closed as well. It's very important. Also, the good thing about this spot is you can pick up the drops as long as they are close to you. So what I recommend you guys doing is killing the few of the zombies in the front. So the ones in the back then move forward and that way then you do not miss out on any of the drops. Another good thing about this glitch is you can actually have the wonder weapon in this spot and the wonder weapon will help you if you guys are running out of ammo in your standard gun. What makes this really, really cool as well because it's great for your camos, it's great for headshots and also I'm going to show you this again. So as you can see, you want to make sure that you jump from a distance. As you jump from a distance, you want to push forward, hold forward for a little bit longer than normal. As soon as you start mantling, that's when you want to hold the back button slightly and then let go of the back button once you mantle. If the zombies do throw meat at you, get off and then jump back on. If any of you guys are having problems with this, let me know in the comment section. I'll try my best to explain it further. Also, the good thing about this is that the hounds will sort of pile up. So they might try and jump at you, you might get that one hound hit you, but it's going to be not enough to damage you. Neither will the green gas actually damage you, because most of the time, the gas is, once you shoot the dog or hound, it just goes backwards a bit and you don't get attacked. The only downfall, like I said in this video, is that the Megaton, he will attack you in his spots. So what I recommend you guys doing is putting on the rings of fire. Once you put on the rings of fire, get your wonder weapon out, shoot him, split him into two, and he'll start coming close to you and then just keep killing him until you've absolutely destroyed him because he's the only thing in this actual glitch that will destroy you. Now, another good thing about this glitch is you can actually turn this from a solo into a team method glitch, which is absolutely awesome. I'm going to show you that how you can do that now. So as you can see, one player is going to be on this spot right here, uh, shooting the zombies and killing them, picking up the drops, like the max ammo's and stuff. Now the other player, all he needs to do is go on the previous glitch. You remember the glitch where you run up against the, the actual pillar? I'm going to show you that to the left. Make sure you got one zombie. As you can see, drop down, mantle up. Go up against the pillar, move back a bit and move forward really fast. Now, once you start seeing your legs floating, that's when you know you're in the right position. And then all the zombies should pour right in the front. And you and your teammate can both be on this one play on this glitch, one play on that glitch. And you can just take care of them. Apart from that, has been your boy Channel Mates Third. Big shout out to the founder is Freight. Go check him out. F R A T his name and link will be in the description. I'll always find some awesome stuff. I will keep you up to date with the latest and greatest. I know there's a new patch tonight, so I will be making sure that I might stream. I'll let you guys know about that and I'll see you soon. And don't forget guys, follow me on my Discord because I'm going to be posting some stuff on there as well for you guys to check out. Bye bye.